Today I'm going to go over some front wheel upgrades that I did on the 35% Tommy Cessna. A few things I thought that it needed. Uh, there's a piece here that I put on later that was missing when I got the plane. It was sent to me later. And uh, that's the spring. The spring there for the front suspension is pretty big. I got it out already. You can see there. When I got the plane, the front steering was completely uh, frozen. I guess the wheel assembly was sitting too close to the rain one day. It didn't move at all, and now it's working pretty good. Took that all apart and fixed it up. I'll show you some pictures of what that looked like. Yeah, the top arrow there is the shaft that was rusted down in that housing where the lower arrow is. It was just all rusty and not moving very good at all. That's the lower suspension shaft there. That was pretty rusty and all rough and grooved and stuff. I cleaned that up a little bit and you'll see in the next picture here. Looks a little bit better. Then greased it up, put it back together. It works works much better than before. You could see how much play this wheel had when I got it. The shaft is too small for the hole in the wheel. And that's pretty bad. Yeah, I couldn't leave it like that. Right. There it is again. Loose. So if we take this apart, you could see the shaft they had was just a, a six millimeter shaft with just some plastic hose over the end to space it. wasn't too cool, so we took that out. Yeah, six millimeter shaft in a quarter quarter inch hole, which is a, two different sizes. And it's a plastic bushing anyway, which is we're going to put bearings in there. That's just not going to work with the way they got that. It's a heavy model, so what we got here is some ball bearings. I got them from Boca Bearing. You can see the part number there. And uh, it's a quarter inch inside diameter, and I think it's half inch outside diameter, whatever it is. But it fits perfect in the pocket. Those Sullivan wheels are made for that. And you can see uh, how nice that fits right in there. So what I did was made a new axle for this wheel. I bought a piece of 4130 chromoly steel tube from onlinemetals.com. It's a quarter inch outside diameter by 0 0.058 inch wall thickness by 0.134 inch inside diameter. So I took a piece of it. This is the whole piece here. I polished it just enough for the bearings to fit on. Just sanded it basically. And then I cut the piece off of the end and made this little axle. Um, then I tapped out the holes, the ends basically for 832 thread so that the cap bolts would fit in the ends. The cap bolts are button heads actually, button head cap screws, 832 thread. I got them from McMaster Car and they uh, screw right into the ends there. And I polished the axle so that the bearings would just fit on snug like you see there, just, just a nice snug fit for that. You can use regular quarter inch wheel collars too with the Allen set screws on these shafts too to space it out instead of those plastic things they were trying to use. And uh, there's a flat spot of ground on these shafts to make it fit better. So yeah, we'll get rid of these plastic bushings in the 6mm shaft that was in there before. We won't be needing that anymore. Just toss it all aside. There you go. Also, notched out there and there. So you could put a wrench on there. So I can hold it still when I put these in and tight. Have something to hold the shaft with. Okay, one on each side. That's a 730 seconds. Okay. So now that's going to go in here. And then I've made these bolts because these, these old bolts were sticking out they just looked funny and they were eating into there so I made these what I did is I took these uh, Dubro control horns and you can use the pieces inside here 
these little pieces that pivot on each other. I took them, I painted them up, I took these 832 bolts, I got them from the Master car, and I painted these little pivots. You see, so you could pivot this, and when you tighten it up onto here, okay. Now, you see, those can, those can pivot. Adjustable. It will go down like that. And that's going to get a nice tight grip on there instead of the old way, which was just that. Crush right through there. This is tight. Okay. Now, if you put your bearings in here. Okay, your collars. See how there's a also the flat spot for this to fit on to. See it will catch on that. Tighten up against it. And on each side. There's no play at all, and that thing is solid. And that will go inside of here with these bad boys. And it'll be tight as a drill. These are those little pieces that I uh, had to put on later. They didn't come with the model for some reason. So I had to drill tiny little holes. I used to hand drill like a, a pin vise, real tiny drills. These are like, I think, number two screws or two millimeter, something really tiny. I forget, 1.5 millimeter. They came with it though. I got some extra ones also, but there it is finished up. Looks pretty good now, a little more realistic with that on there. And she's good to go. Nice and tight now, baby. No slab. I think it's tight. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps out.